Consider the evolution of cell phones. Their journey is truly awe-inspiring. If you were to time travel back to the early 90s, you'd land in an era where cell phones were seen as nothing more than heavy, awkward blocks that only the rich could afford. Models like the Motorola Dynatac and Nokia Mobira Cityman were large, inconvenient, and quite frankly, strangely shaped, having little appeal to the common man. As the 90s rolled on, an extraordinary transformation began to take shape. The once hefty blocks that were the Motorola Microtac and Nokia 5110 began to slim down. They started to become slimmer, more compact, and increasingly easy to carry around. These devices started to snugly fit into users' pockets, indicating a significant shift in design and functionality. No longer an exclusive reserve for the wealthy, cell phones began to infiltrate the hands of the common people, slowly transforming into a common tool rather than a rare luxury. Here's a quick pause. If you are fascinated by the technologies around the world just like me and want to know more, then please hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's continue with our story. One company that played a key role in this metamorphosis was Nokia. This Finnish telecommunications titan with its innovation and foresight saw the potential in these devices and set out to make them accessible to all. Sometime in the first half of the decade, Nokia made a move that caused a seismic shift in the industry. They launched the Nokia 1011, their first mass-produced GSM phone, marking a significant leap in mobile technology. It featured an extendable antenna and the capability to send SMS, a first at the time. They also introduced the Nokia 6110, which had a more compact design and was the first to feature the popular game Snake. These developments not only marked a monumental point in Nokia's history, but also laid the foundation of what cell phones have become today. Nokia, undeniably, had a central role in this transformation, launching innovative models that changed the face of mobile technology. The home computer boom that swept the globe was an extraordinary phenomenon, a revolution that changed the way we lived. This wave was particularly noticeable in the 90s, a decade that bristled with remarkable advancements. Suddenly, computers, with their blinking cursors and monotonous hum, became essential household items, no longer a luxury but a necessity. They were no longer confined to the rooms of the affluent or the offices of the tech-savvy. Whether you were from the bustling cityscape of New York or the quiet suburbia of a small town, the chances were high you had a computer in your home. Personal computers like the Apple Macintosh Classic with its 9-inch monochrome display or the IBM PS1 with its novel user-friendly interface were common household names. These were more than just machines, they were symbols of a new era, an era that opened the door to the revolution. This widespread acceptance and assimilation of computers into our daily routines were primarily driven by two pivotal factors. Firstly, the development of the Linux operating system, a revolutionary software that demolished the technical jargon barrier, inviting individuals, irrespective of their technical expertise, to delve into the world of computing. Secondly, the introduction of Adobe Photoshop forever changed the way we perceived image editing. This groundbreaking software brought professional-grade image editing to the average user, making complex tasks seem effortlessly achievable, thereby bridging the gap between hobbyist and professional. The advent of the internet played a significant role in this revolution. It transformed these home computers from standalone machines into portals that opened up a world of endless possibilities. It provided a platform where information flowed freely, connecting people and ideas like never before. In essence, these advancements not only enhanced the capabilities of home computers, but they also made them more accessible and less intimidating. They transformed the perception of technology from something reserved for the elite to something that was intertwined with the lives of the average Joe. This home computer boom turned computers into an integral part of our everyday existence. In the 90s, we witnessed a profound shift in the landscape of popular culture, and it was impossible to discuss the era's technological breakthroughs without mentioning the entertainment industry's game changers. This was an epoch of unprecedented advancements, a time when technology was evolving at breakneck speed. The 90s led the way for revolutionary ideas that have shaped our current world, and DVDs were a central component of that innovation. The unveiling of DVDs was indeed a significant game-changer. They represented an enormous leap from the conventional VHS tapes. DVDs, with their outstanding quality and increased capacity, began to supplant our much-loved VHS. Though the transition wasn't instantaneous, the benefits of DVDs were too overwhelming to disregard. The ability to store more information, along with superior picture and sound quality, propelled DVDs into becoming the preferred option for consumers globally. Iconic movies like Titanic The Matrix and Disney's Lion King were some of the first to leverage this new format, bringing cinema-quality visuals and audio straight into our living rooms. 
This was an innovation that marked a formidable stride forward in the entertainment industry, raising the bar higher for standards and expectations. Simultaneously, the gaming world was on the brink of a revolution. The introduction of Sony's PlayStation and Nintendo 64 consoles represented a tectonic shift in the landscape of video gaming. These gaming systems, with their advanced graphics and immersive gameplay, signified a massive leap forward from their forebears. Games like Final Fantasy VII for PlayStation and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64 not only tantalized the senses with their breakthrough graphics and complex narratives, but also set new standards for what video games could be. They transformed not only how we play the games, but also drastically reshaped the idea of home entertainment. PlayStation and Nintendo. 64 consoles evolved beyond mere gaming devices to become the embodiment of cutting-edge technology and innovation, leaving an indelible mark on the home entertainment. The 90s bore witness to the inception of Google, the world's most extensive search engine. This era, characterized by the end of the Cold War and the blooming of the digital age, served as a fertile ground for technological innovations. It was a time of firsts where the fusion of computer technology and human inventiveness led to inventions that would revolutionize the world. Among these was Google, a manifestation of the intelligence and creativity of Larry Page and Sergey Brin. The birth of Google took place in a modest garage and began as a research project by these two Stanford University students. In the early years, Google faced numerous challenges, including competition from established search engines like Yahoo and MSN. However, Page and Brin had something unique up their sleeve, the ingenious algorithm PageRank. This algorithm analyzed the relevance of web pages, not just based on the frequency of a search term, but also on the number of other pertinent web pages that linked back to them. This was a novel approach that marked a fundamental shift in the way online information was sorted and presented, making the vast expanse of the internet more navigable. Despite early setbacks, such as a lack of substantial funding and skepticism from potential investors, Google persevered on the strength of its unique value proposition and the relentless determination of its founders. Over the years, Google morphed from a simple search engine into a multifaceted tech titan, reflecting the visionary leadership and relentless innovation of its creators. With an impressive array of products and services like Gmail, Google Maps, Android and Google Drive, Google has not only shaped our digital experiences but also significantly influenced our daily lives. However, despite its expansive growth and evolution, it stayed true to its original mission, organizing the world's information and making it universally accessible and useful. Founded in 1998, this tech giant overcame its early challenges to revolutionize the way we surf the web, making information more accessible than ever before. The story of Google's birth and rise to dominance is one of resilience, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of a unique vision. But the 90s were not all about serious tech. As we delve deeper into the decade, we can see that there was a balance, a lighter side that is often overlooked amidst the serious technological progress. The 90s were marked by a vibrant and colorful blend of creativity and innovation which manifested itself in an array of inventions that were not just about power and speed, but also fun and entertainment. Let's start with one such invention that swept the nation, the infamous Tickle Me Elmo. This was more than just a plush toy. It was an adorable red Elmo from the beloved Sesame Street, designed to chuckle when tickled. The charm of this toy wasn't in its complexity, but its simplicity. It burst onto the scene, causing unprecedented shopping frenzies every holiday season. The cultural impact of this toy was immense. It wasn't just a hit, it was a cultural landmark that shaped the toy industry forever. Then came the Tamagotchi, a truly unforgettable piece of the 90s. This tiny egg-shaped gadget was a virtual pet that required constant care and attention. A new form of companionship for kids, it became an instant hit. But for parents everywhere, it was a source of constant despair as it was seen as a distraction. The influence of this digital pet was felt far and wide, influencing the way we think about digital companionship and even sparking a trend of virtual pet games and apps. We also can't ignore the influence of Game Boy Color, a handheld game console that took mobile gaming to a whole new level. It brought vibrant colors to the previously monochrome world of Game Boy, making gaming more immersive and fun. So when we reminisce about the 90s, we don't just recall the serious tech advancements. We also remember the fun and quirky inventions like Tickle Me Elmo and the Tamagotchi and the Game Boy Color. These inventions were more than just tech, they were cultural phenomena that brought joy, sparked trends and forever changed the way we view technology. If you are interested in gaining more knowledge about innovations and tech trends, then click on the video shown on the screen. 
kindly subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.